Visitation House is a home for pregnant women. Um, we house up to 12 women here at the facility. Um, oftentimes people think a visitation house as a shelter. It's actually not a shelter, it's a program. So someone who comes in has to be interviewed and they go through a process. And at that time we ask them to make a commitment to the program itself. The prayer brought me here because I was wake up, lost, um, confused, I have nowhere to go. And while I was two months pregnant, and I just go on the website looking in the place, the first one that was popped to my exhibition house, I just called and they're open to welcome me here with smile. There will be no other place coming here. I will be at my heart forever, invitation house. And my baby here, she brought me here. I was scared, but the moment that I step in here, I know I'm not alone and I'm not afraid anymore and I feel relief. When a woman comes in, I look at them as a whole person and we take the holistic approach in dealing with them. So we provide life skills classes dealing with uh, personal growth, um, health and fitness, um, their spiritual life, and obviously meeting all of their physical needs. Um, we also provide finance classes a doula program we have here right now, and also an opportunity for the women to put money away to save. Um, and currently we're providing um, a personal trainer who comes in and teaches fitness classes and works with them as a group or one-on-one. -on -one. We have someone who comes in and also teaches, teaches nutrition classes. So um, we wanna work with the women in all areas of their life. When they come in, my desire is that they leave a completely changed person. But you can come to Visitation House and it's like a rehab for your soul. And when they leave, my biggest desire is that they understand their value and their self-worth so that they have the ability to pass that on to their children. As a current college student, I've been able to help them figure out how to get back into their higher education programs. And it's been really cool to see, you know, the beginning steps of applying for FAFSA, applying for a community college, and now a lot of them are either finishing that up or getting into their programs. So yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, so while talking to them, um, they tend to open up. It's, it's tough, they've gone through a lot of stuff, a lot of hardships in life. So I think their biggest struggle is um, realizing that they're worthy of so much. They are amazing women, and just by opening up, they realize that they've overcome so many obstacles and so many things, and they're like, wait, like, I did that, like, I survived that. I can be this amazing version of myself, an amazing mother. I graduated actually January 6th is when I moved out. Now I am currently preparing to put her in a full-time daycare, which she'll start on Monday the 13th, and also I'll go back to work as well. It definitely taught me to put my priorities first and my responsibilities first and setting like a good stable routine for my daughter, Rain. Um, I definitely want to thank everybody who supported Visitation House because they provided like my the basic necessities for my daughter and also for me as well because without those I didn't know where I would get all the necessities that I need. So I definitely want to thank the donors for that. You have, I have a beautiful life in front of me and I would never, never discourage. They're helping me through. The house make me feel like I don't want to leave it. I want to stay here. But I'm going to pass it one, one 
for the next woman that come here. God knows why he put this place for us. The beautiful people out there, they're helping us, and I have no way. I have no idea where the money come from, where the food come from, where the love, there is the love here. What I learned is taught me to be who I am, my self-value, my self-worth and respect, to be a mom and great mother, and be a model for my daughter. Now I'm going back to school. I'm already full-time parents, and I'm still doing full-time school and full-time job and I still feel in energy. This is Lori and Jen, they're always on our side. But I know, God know why he put me here. One of the things that people often say about Visitation House is that there's a sense of peace when they come into the home. There are several reasons I believe that there's peace here. Number one, I believe that because we actually have the Blessed Sacrament in our home, that that brings definite peace to the home. Um, but I also think that because we look at each woman as an individual person, they're not a number, but they're an actual person, and we work to help them individually, it does bring a sense of peace to the home. Every woman has their own private room. They share a bathroom um, and communal spaces within the house. But I've had several women tell me one of the things that they appreciate the most when they first come in is the fact that they have a clean bed to sleep in and they can actually rest. They're not going from couch to couch or living in their car, but they actually have a bed that's clean and new and fresh and they actually feel rest and peace here.